All right, all right, all right. Hey, YouTube, I'm Lucky, and in today's video, we're going to be diving into Bungie getting a little bit political on Twitter today. Now, political may not be necessarily the right word you want to use for this, or however you want to describe this. A lot of people responded saying, you know, keep politics out of the game, keep politics out of Destiny 2, etc. But we're going to be covering this new story. I'm going to try and keep things pretty neutral as, you know, I don't really talk about politics too much here on this channel. So, we have from the official Bungie Twitter account posting this today saying standing up for reproductive choice and liberty is not a difficult decision to make and Bungie remains dedicated to upholding these values. And then it links to an article where they talk basically about how they are supporting uh, pro-choice uh, as their, like, that's their stance on this issue. And obviously this comes up from an even bigger issue, which is that uh, it's trending right now on Twitter. I'm reading the, t the title. It says U.S. Supreme Court Chief Justice Robert uh, Roberts confirms leaked draft of abortion decision is authentic and orders investigation. So uh, right now, I believe if I'm not uh, very uh, knowledgeable on political stuff, but right now I believe what's happening is there's like a federal law that abortion is allowed in America and stuff, and they're going to potentially revoke that and make it each state's decision. So each state would be uh, able to choose whether or not they want that to be legalized or not. So obviously this is going to be, you know, have a lot of impact uh, on America. And this is definitely a big political issue. And Bungie is actually posting their stance on this. And obviously, this did re receive a good amount of criticism. We'll go through um, all of the responses that Bungie had here today. We have uh, one person tweeting out saying, y'all need to stop politics. It's not a business standpoint nor a game standpoint. It's irrelevant to what y'all do. And then Bungie responded saying, it's very relevant to the lives of our employees. We will never stop. Then the next response we get from Bungie, someone tweets out saying, Literally, this is just sad. You, as a gaming company, are really going to start choosing a side when you shouldn't even be involved in this bunch of political BS. As a gaming company, your focus should be how to appease people with your games, not your opinions. Don't. Seriously. Bungie responds, saying we've chosen our side and it wasn't difficult. Our company values exist beyond our game. So Bungie definitely doubling down on there and responding to this and making their stance very clear. And a lot of these responses are going to seem very negative. I'm not cherry picking any of them. I literally picked up all of the responses that Bungie had today. And they just seem to, you know, sort of highlight the ones that were negative and make sure to give them a very stern response. This person actually deleted their comment and Bungie responded saying, and we prefer to use our platform to make the world better for our employees and beyond. So that comment got deleted. The next one up says, can we just stick to making video games? And Bungie says, never. We get a response from them. And then the last one, this one I thought was actually kind of funny, a little bit of a roast. This person tweets out saying, you are a video game company. And Bungie responds, you are a toaster. So <laughs> kind of a funny response there. But let me know your thoughts about all of this down in the comment section below. How do you feel about Bungie taking a political stance like this? Uh, I think probably a large majority of us would agree with them, but I mean... You know, some of us might disagree, and, uh, you know, this could definitely cause a divide as well. Uh, I don't know how far Bungie is going to go in their efforts to, you know, basically give out their political stances on a variety of different things. We've seen things like this in the past, you know. Uh, companies will stand up against, you know, obviously, like, terrible things that go on within the gaming industry, which is appropriate, of course, because they're a video game company, and things that go on outside of the video game industry, right? We have, you know, like, the war in Ukraine and stuff like that, so... Um, Bungie is obviously trying their best to be more than just a video game company. They're trying to push their values out and what they see as good values. And obviously there's going to be some criticism and some flack here and there, but overall I do applaud them and their efforts to, you know, uh, push their agenda, what they believe is the right thing to do. Uh, whether you agree or disagree with this, you can, you know, post that in the responses to their replies or in the comments down below, but let me know your thoughts on this video. And that's going to be a wrap for today's news story. Make sure to subscribe if you enjoyed. Smash the like button. I'll see you in the next one. Later.